Hello and welcome friends, a new case in basics of probability and the case is in a basket or box there are two pink, three white and five green flowers that means total number of flowers 10 three flowers are drawn at random from these 10 flowers what is the probability that number one all the three flowers are of different color that means one of each color because there are three types of colors Number two, two flowers of any one color and the remaining one of another color. And number three, all the three flowers are of same color. Okay, now the first question is, if three flowers are drawn out of ten, in how many ways we can draw them? The answer is, in ten C3 ways, we can draw three flowers out of ten. So let us simplify ten C3. Ten C3 is equal to... 10 factorial upon 3 factorial into 10 minus 3 factorial. 10 minus 3 is 7, so we expand 10 factorial up to 7 factorial only. 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 multiplied by 7 factorial. Now we can cancel these two values of 7 factorial. 3 can be cancelled against 9 and 2 can be cancelled against either 10 or 8. 3 into 4, 12 into 10, 120. So the answer is, out of 10 flowers, 3 can be drawn in 120 ways. Now the first event we are interested in is, all the 3 flowers of different color. All the 3. There are 3 types of colors and 3 flowers are drawn. So we can also say that one of each color is drawn. First of all, numerator will be favorable number of cases. In how many ways one of each flower can be drawn? Out of two pink, one can be drawn in 2C1 ways. And means multiplication. Out of three white, one can be drawn in 3C1 way. And out of five, one green can be drawn in 5C1 ways. Divided by total number of cases, 10C3. 2C1 is 2, 3C1 is 3, 5C1 is 5. So, the probability is 30 by 120 or 1 by 4 or even you can write 0.25. But I always suggest to write the probability in its minimum possible value of fraction. Now, the second event we are interested is out of 3, 2 flowers of any one color and the remaining one flower of another color. That means two pink and one out of remaining eight or two white and one out of remaining seven and two green and one out of remaining five. So two pink and one another or two white and one another or two green and one another. Now how can we calculate probability? First of all let us think about the favorable number of cases. Two pink out of two can be drawn in two C2 ways. And one out of remaining eight can be drawn in eight C1 ways. Or means addition. Two white out of three can be drawn in three C2 ways and one out of remaining 7 can be drawn in 7C1 ways. Or 2 green out of 5 can be drawn in 5C2 ways. And 1 out of remaining 5 can be drawn in 5C1 ways. This is the favorable number of cases. And as we know, total number of possible cases are 10C3. Now let us simplify. 2C2 means 1. NCN is always 1. And 8C1 is 8. Plus 3C2 is 3. And 7C1 is 7. Plus 5C2. 5C2 is 10. Into 5C1 is 5. Total number of cases 120, that is value of 20C3. 8 into 1, 8, plus 3 into 7, 21, 
plus 10 into 5, 50 divided by 120. So, probability comes to 79 divided by 120. The probability of drawing three flowers in such a way that there are two flowers of any one color and the remaining one of another color is 79 by 120. And the last case we are interested in is all the three flowers of any one color. Now, practically three pink flowers are not possible because there are only two pink flowers. So, either three white flowers or three green flowers. That means two white, sorry, three white and none of any other color or three green and none of any other color. Two pink are there, that's why three pink flowers are not possible. Now, required probability will be favorable number of cases and that will be three white out of three in three C three ways and none out of remaining seven in seven C zero ways or three green out of five in five C three ways and none out of remaining 5 in 5C0 ways. Upon 10C3. 3C3 is 1 and 7C0 is also 1. NCN is 1 and NC0 is also 1. Plus 5C3 is 10. And 5C0 is 1. Upon 120. 1 into 1, 1. Plus 10 into 1, 10 upon 120. So the probability comes to 11 upon 120. Now the interesting thing is the first event if we draw three flowers, we draw one of each color. Another is two of any one color and one of another color, and the last is all the three of any one color. See the probability. In first case it is 30 by 120, in second case it is 79 by 120 and in third case it is 11 by 120. If we add these probabilities together, 30 plus 79, 109 plus 11, 120. So the probability is rather the total or summation of all the three probabilities comes to 1. 120 upon 120 or 1. What is the interpretation? That means these three are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. That means if we really perform this experiment taking flowers in this pattern and drawing three flowers, any one of these three or only one of these three can happen at a time. Only one that means first occurs second and third cannot and so on. No fourth event is possible and at a time only one is possible. At a time only one is possible he is mutually exclusive and no fourth event is possible that means these three are exhaustive number of cases or outcomes. That's it. Thank you very much.